there's numerous ways in which we may approximate a function, but um, the LFA is the linear approximation of a function. And once we know that f is differentiable in some point a, then it's also the linear function with the following two properties, that the function value in a agrees with uh, that of f, so LFA in A, evaluated in A, equals F of A. And it's the unique linear function that agrees in slope. So if we consider the slope in A, which is LFA prime in A, this one equals the F prime in A, so the derivative of F in A. Well, this is easily seen as follows, so we provide a proof here. The proof goes as follows. Well, suppose we have another linear function with the same properties. So consider a function Lx equals Cx plus d, where C and d are some constants in R. Now suppose we have the green 1 and green 2 properties. Yeah, so that we know that the L in A equals F A and the L prime in A equals F prime in A. Well, by substituting X and carry out, carrying out the, the differentiation, we get the following equations. C times A plus D equals F A. I'll just substitute a in cx plus d for x. And uh, differentiation returns the derivative c for the linear function, and it should equal f prime a. Now we may solve for c and d, since when c equals the f prime of a, and we substitute the value in the upper upper equation, we get d equals f a minus f prime a times a. So we immediately see that c and d are uniquely determined. Yeah, more specifically, we can write now Lx with this found constant as follows. Yeah, so L of x equals c x plus d. Well, c equals f prime a, so we get f prime a times x plus d, but d equals f a minus f prime a a times a. And now gather all terms with the f prime, then we see that we're left with f a plus f prime a times x minus a. So we indeed get the description of the linear, the linear approximation of f in a.